Okay, so here's how this is going to work. I don't know if you've ever seen the dating game before. It's kind of old school. But if you ever watch TV Land or something like that, Game Show Network, then you may have seen it. Hey, cool. TVTorrents.net. So, uh, first of all, you know that any self-respecting game show host has a tuxedo. Come on! Thank you. Okay, I'm not the one being picked up here. So, you can... Yeah, yeah. So, we, we may need some more lights, but we'll, we'll see how well it goes here. Um, let's grab one more chair so that whoever is sitting here doesn't have to actually sit all the way against. Well, I don't think you want your leg against the 2 by 4 that's over there either. So, But we're not going to be using the laptops. There's going to be no... I uh, know. You told me that I... Listen, I had a kernel panic. I had those three on my <laughs> Guys, you know which one you're going after. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. I'm going to escort the ladies back out into the hallway. I'm going to close the door. I'm going to pick three contestants, volunteers, from the audience, and they'll come up here and be seated. We'll start from the inside out, Bachelor 1, Bachelor 2, Bachelor 3. I will then bring in one of the girls, have her sit down, and she'll start asking questions of the three bachelors. After five questions... We'll give you five questions. If you need help, we'll solicit help from the audience for questions. Okay? Feel free to be as raunchy and as absolutely disgusting as you would like. Goatsy is familiar to most of these people. So, one other important element. Every good game show host has got hidden booze. So, First, no, it's not water. I'm 33 years old. I don't have to tell anybody I'm drinking water. So let's move the ladies out into the hallway, please. It, uh, we will make sure no one touches your laptop. Okay. All right. So now I need three volunteers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that we've seen, now that we've seen that we've got. Gorgeous ladies here that we're going to, okay. All right, you there, stand up, bachelor number one, take that seat. Oh, somebody all the way in the back, who are you? Come on, come on, come on up. We got three contestants. If you don't get it on the first time, all right. Come on. Bachelor number two. Okay. If you say your name, if you say your name at any point, you're automatically tossed out. Okay. So that's the other thing. It's got to. We got to be somewhat halfway anonymous, right? So don't say who you are. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, come on. Come on. All right. You are kicked out. You are, no, you are kicked out. All right, bachelor number three. Let's find our first lucky bachelorette. Not allowed to see them. Here, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Come on. Come on. Can somebody shut the door, please. Okay, you can open your eyes. All right. All right. You you have your choice. You can either ask a question to a specific person, or you can ask uh, your question to all three. You get five questions. Uh, so first of all, what is your name? My name is Violet. And where are you from, Violet? I'm from Tullahoma, Tennessee. All right, local girl. Had the possibility for something to something to happen here. 
All right, and uh, what is your reason for showing up to the con? I love nerds, geeks, freaks, and dweebs. Woo! You guys are lucky. <laughs> well, one of you might be. Okay, so pass that around when, uh, when asked. Violet, what is the first question? Who would you like to ask a question to? Three, so start with bachelor moment number one, boxers, briefs, or thongs? Boxers. Bachelor number two? Boxers. Number three? Briefs. <laughs> what was that? Please Briefs. talk into the microphone. <laughs> Technically inept hacker here. Okay. Thank you. And this is going to be for all three of you again. If I was a firewall, how would you hack into me? And what things would you do once you got inside? All right. I would, I would uh, definitely scan for all open ports. And, and once found open, I would finger and see what services were running. And uh, once uh, I did exploit via the penetration, uh, I would... Uh, Are you a certified penetration expert? Yes, I am, yes. Just, yes. just checking, just checking. Yes, an asterisk yeah. user. And, uh, and once in, I would uh, gain root and uh, <laughs> backdoor you, so yes. <laughs> You may just have lost there, bachelor number one. And then you'll put it in her pooper. <laughs> bachelor number two. I would have to start by tunneling through you. And um, then probably just scanning for ports. Bachelor three. I would definitely... Uh, talk louder. First, Yes, I yeah. would definitely talk louder. And uh, Yeah, good. And first, I would have to, uh, my voice picking up. No, not really. You got to get it closer to your mouth. Hello. There uh, you go. You Don't. Me? Okay. Don't eat it. All right. <laughs> All right. First deal, I would, uh, you know, scan your ports like everyone else said. But you have to make sure not to run it on normal mode. It's got to be like a stealth scan, like slow and, you know, slow and just make sure that you hit everything but not too fast and then you have to uh <laughs> then you have to you know once you find that open port you have to try connecting a few times just to see how it you know feels and then <laughs> and then <laughs> you know i, like I, I, I think it people. may be best if i just cut you off right yeah, here i think so. I, I i think that's probably the wisest thing I think so. let, let me give you guys a little bit of advice Probably the first thing you'd want to do if she was a firewall in, in, in checking uh, is maybe you want to just ask if you've outright got permission. I mean, <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, Violet, what is your next question? Okay, of the three games, World of Warcraft, EverQuest, or Halo, which one would you play first? Um... Halo. I would most definitely have to say World of Warcraft. I'm gonna have to go with uh, World of Warcraft because it's an RPG. Okay, <laughs> next. Number four. You're playing your game and you're really into your game. I walk in and I want to be really into you. Would you do me right there on the keyboard, or would you keep playing your game like a dumbass? <laughs> what I would do is, is I would pause the game. <laughs> and then I would, and then I would attend to you while you sitting in my lap while we play together. The game? Yes. Oh, okay. The game, the game, and, and. I don't think I needed to make those condoms this year. 
Yeah, be safe. But yeah. I would that have to one. say. This is two. I would probably alt F4 and just start. Yeah, I would do you. Mm. I don't know why I, w I would not wait to Alt F4. Uh, <laughs> there would be no computer on the desk after like maybe five seconds. <laughs> Guarantee it. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Rain, what do you think? <laughs> No, 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 no. Once again, let me, let me step in with a little suggestion. A little suggestion? It's called power switch. Uh, all right. Okay, question number five, your final question. Okay. In Dead or Alive 3, what's your favorite character and what's your highest score? Uh, probably the one that you like to play the most. And uh, <laughs> my highest score is, uh, I mean, we'll just have to see because you have to play me. So. He's a virgin. He's a virgin. I can't really say... I really haven't played too much Dead or Alive 3. Yeah. Well, you see all the gamers are still downstairs playing. So, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, they, they it's like women, next level, women, next level. Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, my f in Dead or Alive 3, I'll be perfectly honest, I have not played enough, but I've played enough to know that all the women in it are hot. And okay, okay. We, 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 but first, I have a question for the Bachelorette. No, actually, I'll wait. Okay, my question for you is which kind of cable would you tie me up with? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely uh, Cat 6. And then, um, louder. All right. Said cat, cat six, and definitely with a power cable. Power supply cable. <laughs> hey, I like it rough. All right. I would have to say thin net because it's pretty much useless right now. Uh, I'm going to have to say uh, RG6 style uh, cable, like coax, because uh, it's pretty strong and uh, and seems like it would be needed. <laughs> I don't know what I, I don't think I can work with this group. Okay. So, will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? The last answer, I kind of got a clue into who I like, because um, I like it rough, too. So come on, one. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Sit down. First, let's meet who you didn't choose. Bachelor number three. Come on around. You get a conciliatory hug. Bachelor number two, come on around. You'd have gone to jail for him anyway, so he's under H. Now let's meet the guy you did pick. Bachelor number one. And as your prize, you get to escort this lovely young lady to the party in the room next door. Doesn't mean you get to leave with her, but at least you get to go with her. So, absolutely. Go sit down. Watch the rest of the hacker hook up. That's right. That's right. Already following her. Let's get three more contestants. All right. 
right, let's see. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to pick them closer, closer in, closer in age here this time. <laughs> Bachelor number one. Let's see if I can actually see who's. Can we get the lights on in here? Well, yeah, okay, it might be better if I choose you without the lights, right? So, I, I can't see past, like, the third row. So, uh, <laughs> 20 bucks, come on. I can be bribed. I can be bribed. I can be bribed. I can be bribed. Come on, I'll I'll give you an extra shirt for it. Extra shirt? That's right. You buy an extra you buy an extra shirt for twenty bucks. There you go. You want an extra seven shirt? Yeah. Well, we need. Well, we have one more round. But all right, bachelor number three, have a seat. All right, let's choose our next lovely bachelorette. I'll let you know when we're past the part where you can see them. Okay, you can open your eyes. Have a seat. Let's go ahead and shut the door, please. Yep. Yay! Here we have another lovely bachelorette. What is your name, young lady? Beth Bullock. Okay, don't ever tell your last name to a hacker group. <laughs> <laughs> Beth? Beth, where are you from? I'm from Huntsville, Alabama. Huntsville, Alabama! Yeah. And why are you at a hacker con? Because I work for Digium. All right. I'm a test engineer, and, so, and also I really like to program, and I thought I could find out some stuff I didn't know. But Okay, I'm not going to hit you when I, when I do this. So. <laughs> she keeps every, every time that I... Put the mic down towards your mouth. She backs up. So. People very much. Because we only have two, and they need one for over there. I yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Okay, so dude, check my laptop off. Man, okay. So the way we're doing this is we're gonna have you ask five questions. You can either ask. Look at this. She's she's compiling something while I'm trying to tell her the rules. <laughs> I swear. So what we're gonna do? So what we're gonna do? All right. We 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 would like focus. We would like to be the focused window right now. Okay. I'm gonna have you ask five questions. You can either ask an individual bachelor or you can ask all three of the bachelors at once. And after five, you'll make your choice. We'll let you meet who you didn't choose, and then we'll let you meet who you did choose. Okay? So what is your first question? Do any of y'all run Linux on your computers? <laughs> it's all three bachelors. Bachelor number one. Yes, I have. That's what I'm trying to think. I don't actually have a computer that I don't have at least one uh, boot of Linux on it. Oh, number two. Nopix is a favor of mine for when it just won't get up. Other than that, uh, Suzy 9.1 and Windows. <laughs> Windows XP. Uh, Bachelor number three. The only Linux version I run is Gen 2. So, uh. Where's Decius? I think he's got something to say to you, too. Uh, okay. Ba all right. <laughs> what, what, was, what was that that got so much... Uh, Gen 2 is for ricers, okay. All right, next question. For ricers, really? No, I don't think so, okay. Um, so anyway, um, do any of y'all actually hold positions as programmers or engineers, or are you working towards that type of degree? Because that would make me happy. Do you have long-term potential? <laughs> That's what she wants to know. I am currently working as a uh, facilities uh, uh, guy uh, 
doing tech, tech repair and tech maintenance while uh, in school going towards a computer engineering degree. That's for number two. No, not help desk. I set the damn things up myself. Thank you very much. I actually know what I'm doing. Oh, goodness here. Uh, I started back when Atari was cool. <laughs> and Dude, you just revealed your no. age. Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no refund. But, but God, no it, refund. Think of it the same way you think of scotch or whiskey or anything else you're drinking tonight. Age is good. Yeah, it is. I'm uh, currently uh, I'm currently um, obtaining my CCNA at Southern Poly. Would you repeat that uh, in intelligible language? Can you? Add, add, yeah. Um, I'm currently acquiring my CCNA. So that means you've never touched a computer if you're going for certifications? Isn't that a valid question to ask? I thought so. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I thought. People go for, yeah. Those, yeah, hey. Okay. <laughs> Next question. Okay, I'm trying to think of a good question to ask. Does, you want to, like, contribute? Raunchy. I don't want to. I can't do that. Okay. She can't come up with a dirty question. Who can? Who can come up with a good, dirty, raunchy question? You look like you've got a filthy mind. There you go. Yes. Here we go because that's exactly what you stated happened to you. To make you late here. Please repeat the question. No, go ahead. No. She is that shy. <laughs> okay. What was the question? If I made my colonel panic. <laughs> what would you do to punish me? <laughs> Tillman? Uh, oh, no, sorry. Can, 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 I, can I repeat what uh, contestant number two just, just said? What did, what did contestant... If I made my colonel panic, what would you do to punish me? So, bachelor number one, what is your answer? Well, obviously the, the first thing is, you know, I, I have to tie you up to get your attention. Uh, beyond that, I would have to uh, take it as a personal matter to instruct you on what you did how to fix it, and how the best way to avoid it in the future, in a very personal manner. So you don't think I can fix it myself? Well, sorry, uh, man, I tried. It just, it just ain't uh, working for you tonight. Yeah, af after, after I'm done, you won't want to fix it yourself. You'll, you'll ask me for help. Bachelor number two. Well... I'm sure you can fix it yourself, but sometimes you get by with a little help from your friends. <laughs> Bachelor number three, please speak English this time. Um, I'd uh, bitch slap the colonel. That's not really punishing her, though, is it? Yeah, what would you do to her? So, okay, next question. Do you need help again from the audience? All right. So how do many of y'all know what asterisk is, and what does it mean to you? All right. She definitely did the corporate line there. Uh, well, uh, seeing how I actually attended both talks today about it, uh, I, I, I definitely know what asterisk is. Um, unfortunately, I haven't had an opportunity to play with it yet. Um, I, I will be doing that later this week, though. Maybe you could do it later tonight. Uh, you never know. I, I, I may be doing it later tonight. That would be part of this week, wouldn't it? It would, uh, wouldn't it? And I, I plan on uh, understanding it fully. Well, when it comes to asterisks, what can I say except it takes a lot of ex exploration and floor play. It takes a lot of holding, <laughs> just going down and exploring and just getting down and dirty with it. Hold <laughs> You got you got to really wrap your wrap your thoughts and your mind and your hands around it and just oh. 
Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Bachelor number two. She was asking about asterisk, not asterisk. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me. Kiss I just got so excited. I just got so excited at what you said, and I thought, I don't know. <laughs> I would uh, probably use it to set up a good, a good solid exchange, and then. Uh, <laughs> The question was something about asterisk. What do you know about asterisk, and what does it mean to you? Uh, it it's her mean job. Much, I don't know what it really means. He doesn't know shit about it. He doesn't know shit about it. That's what he said. Last question. Last question. Boy, you still can't make a decision. What? No. Okay. How how old are you guys? Uh, is, is that about? Oh, I may have to call foul on that one. I don't, no, no, uh, no. Sorry. New question. <laughs> All you got to do is go to the party with them. Show up with them. Okay. Was your first programming exciting to you? Was your first programming experience exciting to you, and why? Well, the idea of getting in there and playing with things and seeing how things work and uh, seeing the output and fine-tuning it to make, the, the, uh, make, make it run the best and give the absolute perfect output, um, I really can't think of... With that goal in mind, I really can't think of much better than that. You, you would never F, you wouldn't, okay, any of y'all would never F just my computer, right? None of you would ever F disk her computer, would you? No. Not without your permission. <laughs> oh, file system check. Fisk is a university here in Nashville. You would never... <laughs> You would never FS file system check her computer, would you? FSCK. Fisk. I thought she said FDISC. Sorry. Well, I really don't see any need to. I, I really don't think I would ever have the need to. Yes. You, none of y'all are picking up on any of the sexual connotations of any of these movies. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. I think I picked up a little bit there. Well, F-disking your computer would be a lot of fun, but I fisking. think... Fisking. Oh, fisking. Fisking. Fisking your computer would be a whole lot of fun, but I think it would be a whole lot more fun if you were to check disk my hard drive. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, my hard drive definitely needs some uh, <coughs> scanning. <laughs> scanning and... Uh, no, I would I wouldn't do it yours, but I would not r rule out your right to do mine. Actually, it would actually depend on the amount of RAM and the speed of the system to do. And the amount of RAM and the speed of the system. I know. I'm sorry, but you have to make a choice. What is your choice? I think number three. Oh my God. <laughs> Sit down, bachelor number three. First, let's meet the bachelors you didn't choose. <laughs> bachelor number two, come on up! <laughs> By the way, this is the one that paid me 20 bucks to get a seat up here. <laughs> Conciliatory hug. Come on, give a hug, give a hug. Oh, yeah, it's sweet. Oh, it's great. Bachelor number one, come on up. What? Somebody just pulled the power cord. Great, it's right there. No oh, man, wait, wait, wait. Okay, well, you're, you're going to have to hug again because bachelor number two screwed up and popped the power cord. All right, back where we were? All right. Look at that, doesn't do help desk.
See, she'll be, <laughs> she'll be looking for you later on. Yeah. <laughs> Bachelor number three, come on out. <laughs> his day job is as a drunken Delta Sky pilot. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Give her a hug. Come on. You'll be escorting this lovely lady to the party next door this evening. Now get out of my sight. <laughs> you can take your laptop with you. Thank you very much for participating. All right. So now we know there's only... There's only one girl left. Yeah, you know who I'm talking about. The girl with the cat ears and the pigtail and the little short skirt. Who's going to be my bachelor contestant? <laughs> no, you can't do it again. All right. One, two, three. We've already chosen three. Besides, Katonic has shown that he's asexual. <laughs> it won't do any good. All right, let's meet our last bachelorette. Can't choose anybody else. Come on. Close your eyes. All right, open your eyes. Have a seat. Okay. Our last bachelorette is the booth babe for Middle Tennessee Anime Convention, who is, uh, has a booth down in the con area. And your name is? Freesia. Freesia. Looked pretty hot to me. Mm -hmm. Ah! Yeah, it's good, isn't it? So, all right. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. All right, so you've probably been listening through the door. You know the general drill. You ask five-ish questions. I don't think we've actually done just five. You can ask either one or all three of the bachelors your questions. If you can't think of anything dirty and raunchy, then we will be happy to supply a question for you. And after the five-ish questions, depends on how good their answers are, then you have to choose one of the three, and then we'll introduce you to the two you didn't pick before the one you did pick. Okay, I think we have all of the rules in order here. Freesia, first question, please. Okay, this is for all three. When you are getting trashed out of your mind in an Irish bar, who is your favorite Irish punk band? <laughs> Give it up. I think your microphone's turned off. Hello. Much better. If I'm getting trashed in an Irish pub, pretty much at that point any punk band is going to do. I'm not really going to be noticing if it's Irish at the moment. Bachelor number two. As long as I got a pint of Mickey's, I don't care. As long as he's got a pint of Mickey's, he doesn't care. Bachelor number three. Well, seeing the only Irish punk band I think I might know is Dropkick Murphys, I'll say them. Their t-shirts are green. Are they Irish? I don't give a shit. They're kind of cool. <laughs> now, that's totally a punk rock answer. What is your next question? Okay. My next question, once again, is for all three out of my disgusting curiosity. Would you rather live in a world where you greeted your male friends with deep French kissing or in a world where you sniffed each other's butts like dogs. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah. Somebody, somebody's got a sick mind, okay? Oh, yeah. You have to choose one. It's just like the presidential election. Neither one is really good, but you got to choose one. I guess if the Hajis can do it, I guess I'll make do too. I'll go with the French kissing. I don't know where that ass has been, okay? 
Bachelor number two. All I Butts have, or tongues? All I have to say is, uh, Dolomite, you sure got a pretty mouth, boy. <laughs> all right. Bachelor number three. After considerable thought, I I definitely have to go with the French kissing because I, I came to the following conclusion. That sniffing each other's butts like dogs would imply no pants on. And I really would not want to know certain details about perhaps sexual preference, sexual choices that my friends have made that I'd be able to notice with my face in their asshole. And the sad thing is, studies have shown there are less germs in your ass than there are in your mouth. That's the sad thing. <laughs> Useless trivia. Okay, since French kissing was such a popular answer, okay, bachelors, this is a question for all three of you. I work with a lot of gay men being a performer in musical theater. What would it take for me to get you to soberly make out with my friend Steve? What's the answer, Tilvin? <laughs> no, but it, it has to be sober. That's the thing. It has to be sober. Right? Oh, oh, oh. We have a retraction. It has to be sober, and it can't involve me doing anything. Ooh! I'm speechless. I'll just pass it on a second. <laughs> so your answer is, it ain't going to happen. There you go. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. All right. He's thinking about this. <laughs> well, being that I am secure in my masculinity... And I did work in a gay bar. I think I just have to pass. You just have to pass. <laughs> no, that's not necessarily true. What would it take for me to make out with your friend Steve? I would have to say, if he knew what my shirt meant, I would probably make out with him. It doesn't take a whole lot. Now that's security and masculinity. Okay. Combat boots, bells, or whips, and I ain't talking Santa Claus accessories. Which one and why? Combat boots, they're nice and comfy. I don't think comfort's what she's looking for here. I really don't think that's what she's looking for. Combat boots, because they're made for stomping. Now, the Alabama girl was the last contestant. That's, that's... Oh, sorry, Beth. Yeah. <laughs> well... The trend thus far has been innuendo, but I'm just not even going to bother. No, definitely whips. Versatility. They can, they can not only be used for whipping. If it's long enough, you can tie somebody up with it. And the butt end makes a hell of a club beating something. I don't know. I like it, bro. <laughs> that too. Okay. I'm going to scratch my next question. Okay, for my... No, don't scratch the next question. No, 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 because oh. this is, yeah. Okay, for my last question, because you guys have been such a great audience, I want a question from you guys to give to them. Come on, raunchy, raunchy, dirty question. Raise your hands. Okay. Nothing about penis size, because, yeah. I, 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 I can't hear, but, yeah. What's your suggestion? Which layer 
Which layer of the OSI model best represents your sexual talents? That's, ag that's agreeable to our bachelorette. We'll go with that one. And why? And no cop-outs of I'm going to have to pass. The application layer. Because once I apply, I only satisfy. It's not a cigar, dude. No, I'm just trying to pick which one I want. One or seven. Or we'll just go with the physical link layer. Why? Why? I said, and why? That was, because there's two parts everybody the knows why the physical link layer is always fun. Because you start at the bottom and work your way up. Uh, no names. I'm going to go with my mantra thus far, in flexi flexibility. I can be any of the layers. I'm versatile. I can satisfy no matter what the task, and I can satisfy all night using all of them. All how many? Seven. Okay. <laughs> We've had some good questions. We've had some, some good answers. Now you have to choose. One, two, or three. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose bachelor number three because if it doesn't work out with me, he said he'd make out with my friend Steve. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> so first, <laughs> let's meet the bachelors you did not choose. Bachelor number one, come on out. Get your conciliatory hug. <laughs> you know this man? You know this man? <laughs> Watch the power chords. Bachelor number two, come on out. Get your conciliatory hug. <laughs> All right, anybody have any saran wrap? Bachelor number one, come on out. Meet your date for the party next door. This is Clayton, by the way. In case you didn't pick that up from Sky Dog yelling his name out in the middle of the contest. All right, so get the hell off the stage. Thank you very much. Well, as soon as we finish the wedding... We'll be going to the party. And no, you're not getting married. <laughs>